everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Okay, so I'm I'm going to go a different direction with my channel. Since the black female haters have been coming out flagging my videos, slowing down my channel growth, and I've been getting my videos flagged by black dudes that just don't want to change, it's, an, it's unfortunate that y'all don't want to hear anything differently. I'm only here trying to help. Y'all want to waddle in misery and anger and bitterness instead of trying something different. But again, I kind of know why you're stuck there, and I'm going to talk about that in a second. But I just find it disheartening, man, that I can't talk to men like men. So I'm going to, I'm going to target teenagers. I'm going to switch up my language. I'm going to switch up my tone. I'm not talking to, to, to grown people anymore. I'm going to talk so that now young teenagers can click on these videos and listen to them. Because you dudes don't want help. And I get why you don't want help. See, subconsciously, a lot of you brothers know y'all have already lost the game. Y'all know that. A lot of you brothers are starting to realize, you know, if you could do simple math, that your midlife crisis is actually between 35 and 40. That is your midlife crisis. That's when midlife starts. And what y'all are realizing now that you're in your mid-30s, that, that you're approaching this age or past this age, you've already lost the game. And you don't know how to reconcile with it. But you've lost the game because you've been lied to. And this is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not here bashing on you. I'm not here beating you down. I'm trying to tell you you've been lied to. Now I get it. My information won't do most of you any good at this stage of your life. All you can do now is try to tweak yourself and try to see if you can make the better, the best out of, out of your remaining years. But you're too far down a rabbit hole, a lot, a lot of you are, that you don't want to hear anything differently. So you lash out at brothers like me, you flag my videos, you slow down my channel growth, you thumb down my videos, all because I'm saying things that you don't want to hear when you know deep in your soul it's the truth. I am the realest dude on YouTube talking to black men. There is no one else like me on YouTube. There is no one else with my life experiences that's on YouTube talking to y'all. Nobody is, 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 a, is an amalgamation of, of, of varied and wide experiences like I am on YouTube. I am unique, and I know I'm unique, but I'm not here to rub that in anybody's face. I'm here to uplift you with it. I'm here to, I'm here to use my good and bad experiences to help you so you can navigate life a little bit better. But you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it, man, because you know you've already lost. You spent your best years trying not to be pooky, trying not to be Ray Ray. You spent your best years thinking that, okay, I'm just gonna go to school, take the sick route, and all the women are gonna fall at my feet. And now that you're older, you're realizing that, man, it's not happening that way. That these women still like the kinds of dudes they like, and they're gonna always like the kinds of dudes they like. You cannot change human nature by way of society. It don't work. And this is all they've been trying to do. Now, you can re-engineer people through propaganda to a certain degree. But really, all it takes is small tweaks, and you let the avalanche start from there. You let it build from there. All you do is set them off course, and you let it build from there. And these are the things that I've been trying to get you to become aware of. But you don't want to hear it. Every time the topic of women come up, all I get out of these red pill channels is he, he, ha, ha, look at this woman, the wall and caught up with this woman. But you're talking about, a lot of times you're talking about rich women that have already lived way better lives than most of us will ever experience. You can't make fun of people like that. I remember years ago, man, listen to Obsidian, when I used to listen to him back in the days, I, I remember years ago, he called himself laughing at some misfortune that Jill Scott had. And I'm thinking to myself, but that's Jill, bruh. That's Jill. Jill got songs that will be played until the end of time. She has made classics. That lady will live on forever. Forever. 
She has made classics. She has made music that is timeless, that no matter what the era is, her music would still be enjoyable. She has done movies, big movies. I mean, a lady has had her life. She has lived her best life. So when she have a misstep, what, you're reminded that she's human? Y'all think that stars and famous people don't have missteps? Y'all think that they don't have problems? So when, I, so when you get reminded that she's a human being, now you sit back and you laugh, he he, ha ha, you see? Dude, she's already won. That's what you dudes don't understand. And all I hear is the silliness of waiting for women to hit the wall again, as if there's no wall for men. As if we don't hit the wall. I keep telling y'all, man, as a dude that was real good with women, I was a little pretty boy, had nice curly hair and everything, you know what I'm saying? I don't look a shadow of myself right now. I am an old, ugly version of me. I couldn't pull women like I used to if I wanted to, man. And that's just the fact of the matter. But I'm content with that because I live. I've already had the experiences. I lived the best years of my life living. A lot of y'all live the best years of your life planning for a later time. But you don't get those years back. And this is something that you brothers realize and, and, it's, and it's messing with you now. Now you are angry. Now you are bitter. Now you are hurt. You, you, you're feeling so many varied emotions that you don't know how to tap into it. Because you know that you have missed a certain window. True. But does that mean your life is over? See, I'm here trying to give you inspiration. I'm trying to give you hope. I'm trying to let you know that, hey, man, it's still time for you to do your thing. But you don't want to hear it. Because all you want to hear is the women are no good. The women are so bad. The women are evil. The women are wicked. But guess what? We are all in this madness together. Whatever ills affect her affect us. You got to understand that we are under the same system. Whatever propaganda is affecting her, it affects us too. Even if it targets her and gets her to move a certain way, her actions directly affect us. If they didn't, there wouldn't be a red pill. If they didn't, there wouldn't be black pill. If they didn't, there wouldn't be uh, MGTOP. If they didn't, there wouldn't be a manosphere. Though the actions of women do affect us. So we need to learn how to become men again. Be the leaders of our people that we are intended to be. Be strong. Be steadfast. Be intelligent. And take our women under our wings, man, and lift them back up. You got two choices. I keep telling you this. You work with them or you move on. But you don't want to do either. So you get mad at brothers like me. I actually had a dude try to call me a simp, man. It's a crazy thing. I mean, how you call somebody with my life experience a simp? Come on, man. It makes no sense what's wrong with you dudes. You dudes are delusional, man. And instead of y'all checking yourself, you want to... Oh, I almost did it. Oh, oh. I got to catch that, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying. It's going to take a while. I might have to bleep some stuff out. But anyway, instead of checking yourself out, you want to blame somebody else. There's an old Dodge and Effect, Dodge Effect song, right, from the, um, I think it was from like the 80s or 90s, early 90s. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. You better chickity check yourself before you riggedy wreck yourself. Y'all remember that? Nah, no, y'all don't. No, y'all too young. But you got to check yourself before you wreck yourself, man. But y'all don't want to check yourselves. You just want to blame. You want to gaslight. You want to scapegoat. You want to deflect. You want to defend. You want to build straw men and tear them down. You want to do anything and everything, but look at the man in the mirror and ask yourself, what could I do better as a man? What could I change? What could I tweak? What could I do better to reach my people? What could I do better to reach the women? That's why I'm here. I had this very talk with myself because again, I don't need this therapy. I'm not here for money. I'm not here for fame. I'm not here to, to, to release anger or bitterness because I have none. I am very content in my life. Very content. I'm content socioeconomically and I'm happy personally. So I'm not here for any of these reasons. I had this talk asking what could I do 
to help my brothers and sisters out. Yeah, I, I care about the women too, but I'm like, yo, I'm not gonna let anybody drag me down. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I care about them, but I'm gonna I'm gonna defend and protect myself. I'm like a boxer. I'm gonna protect myself at all times. So I'm not gonna let nobody drag me down with the madness that's going on in their mind. But I care about the women. But I care about my brothers also, man, because my brothers are my brothers. I recognize God when I see God, but you gotta elevate yourself to that point. But you don't wanna check yourself. So you're wrecking yourself. You're going downhill fast. You're on a slalom. And you're speeding 75, 85, 95 miles per hour. And right now, you're just a passenger on those skis because you have no control. Sooner or later, you're gonna be tumbling. And once you're tumbling, you're gonna mess yourself up. I'm trying to slow you down. I'm trying to put a net up to catch you and say, no, my brothers, don't go that way. Don't fall off into this red pill stuff. Yeah, I get it, they're reacting. I, I, I get why they exist. But they're reacting in kind and men should never act like women. That's the thing. They are reacting in kind and men should never stoop to the emotional deprivations of females. We should never do that. They are, they are prisoners to their emotions. I gotta watch the words I say. They are prisoners to their emotions. We are not. We are above that. So we need to act like we are above it. And we need to, we need to conduct ourselves in a certain way in which our women can see us and recognize what they're looking at. Because unlike y'all, these women still don't, don't deal with me like they deal with y'all. You know the response I get a lot of times from these sisters? They either avoid me altogether or they come at me with respect. That is it. That is it. Because they can tell by my energy. Uh, 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 what's that song? Uh, um, T.I. did. You can tell by the way I walk, I'm a boss. You can tell how I talk, I'm a G. You know what I'm saying? They can tell how I walk, I'm a boss. They can tell how I talk, I'm a G. So they, when, when, when they see me, they're not coming at me sideways. They're not coming at me like that. They're dealing with me in a different manner. And all I'm trying to do is share this with you brothers. So y'all can, can wrap yourselves in a cloth of alphaness, real alphaness. The alphaness that represent the original state of manhood. That's what the black alpha is about. And I told you the black alpha is all of us. It's not me. It's all of us. It's all of us men. It's even the white boys and Asian men. If they want to tap into that energy, they can. Because a lot of this stuff is just an energy. It's a demeanor. It's a temperament. It's a philosophy. It's, a, it, it, it's, it's something that becomes deeply embedded in your core. It takes time to get there. You just can't fake it. But once you're there, you're there. And this is why I walk the way I walk. This is why I talk the way I talk. This is why I act the way I act. And all I'm trying to do is get at you brothers and y'all have shown me y'all wants no parts of it. So from now on, I am declaring full out war on all Red Pill channels, full out war on all Manosphere channels, except for Dr. T. Hassan Johnson, him and um, BGS get more. You know what I'm saying? Them brothers are solid. I, I ain't saying I, I agree with everything they, they say, but they solid, you know. They might have some other solid ones out there I'm not aware of. The solid ones I'm not going after. But see, all these old wishy-washy Red Pill and Manosphere and MGTOW channels, I am coming after all of y'all. All these wishy-washy pro-black channels, I am coming after all of y'all. I wasn't going to be this way. I wasn't going to do this. But from now on, and you women, black women, all of your channels, they are no longer safe. I'm coming after all of y'all. All of these pink pill feminist channels, I am coming after all of y'all. I'm not playing no more. And I'm going to do it without cursing. I'm going to do it in a nice, calm demeanor. I'm going to do it straight. I'm going to talk straight. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you another side of me. I can talk straight too. I can come at you straight. I'ma do it, I'ma do it straight and even kill. Because right now y'all have shown me that I'm too strong for a lot of y'all. This stuff is too, too strong, it's too raw. So I'm about to water this down, I'm about to cut it, and I'm about to come after everybody because my job now is gonna be just to expose. I didn't wanna do that. I didn't want my channel being based on that. I thought that I could come in here and have a man talk with men. No, I can't. So now I'm gonna talk to young men. 
I'm gonna show them before they get to where you at why they shouldn't go down your path. I'm gonna show them what, 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 what awaits them if they listen to the madness that these men spew, which a lot of them don't. But I'm gonna show them and I'm gonna give them hope. I'm gonna talk to them about business. I'm gonna talk to them about education, about society. I'm gonna talk to them about everything. And I'm gonna use these other channels as the clean glass, dirty glass to show them what they don't wanna do how they don't want to be, the kind of person they don't want to follow. I'm about to do it all right now. And you women, y'all have declared war on me, so I'm declaring war back. You know, one of these sisters that flagged my channel, man, talking about my video showed up in her feed. So she flags the video. Now, it's a video that has been getting good, good views. Since she flagged it, it's shut down completely. I asked her, you can read the comments. I'm sure you get a lot of videos in your feed that you don't, that you have no interest in. I said, but if it was something else from a white person, maybe, you would have just ignored it. Why click my video on and flag it? Why click it on, comment on it, and flag my video? Okay, since y'all want to do that, and you know how she looked. I, I don't have to tell you how she looked. She looked like you would think she would look. She, and that's why a lot of these sisters hide their faces online. They know how they look. They know the condition they're in. Oh, no, y'all asked for this. Y'all asked for this. Y'all thought Kevin Samuels was bad. He, I told, I keep telling y'all, Kevin had nothing on me. Because he can only do that with one type of person. I can do what he did with everyone. Because I understand the flaws of us all. I know what's wrong with all of us. And I know how we got there and I know what we need to get out of it. So when you talk to me, I can hear all the flaws coming out. Not just ones talking about what I believe is the proper role of men and women based upon some Eurocentric point of view. No, nah, I don't need to go there. I don't need to do it based on no religious point of view either. I don't need to go there. I'm gonna go to human nature and show you where you're wrong. I'm gonna go to human nature and show you the error of your ways. This is what I do. This is what I am, man. You know, my wife or my exes will tell you something about me. And now, this is something I, I tell people. If I don't know nothing else, I know people. You got to understand that about me. If I don't know nothing else, I know people. I'm a people's person. And I observe people. I like people and I observe people. So the human nature has always fascinated me. And I've always been more of a scientist than an emotional bystander. I mean, I'm the kind of dude that my girl wants to cheat on me. I'm going to sit down and ask her what, 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 what through your mind, you know what I'm saying? What caused you to do it? You know, what was it? I want to know because I'm more curious than emotionally tired. I want to know and understand because that's what gods do. That's what alphas do. That's what black alphas do. We understand. We don't get emotionally caught up. We understand. And that's my default setting. My default setting is to understand, not get emotional about anything. I don't get riled up easily like that. My default, my default setting is understanding. And the sisters, my kumbaya stage is over, officially over with y'all. I tried, I got attacked, and I, and I have yet to actually say anything against sister. If you look at my videos, I haven't said nothing against them. I only place blame where blame go, but if you listen to the videos, I've been equally hard on the brothers. I haven't been giving brothers any slack. I haven't been giving them any kind of break, but the sisters wants to attack me, wants to flag my videos, so okay, I'm gonna start telling men what I really think about dating black women. And I'm gonna start it by saying this here, I think you shouldn't do it. That's my honest to God feeling about it. I think any dude that invests his time and life into focusing solely on dating black women is wasting his life. That's my honest to God advice. Since you wanted to know what it is, now you know. That is my honest to God advice based on many years of experience. Because again, at this age, when you get as old as I am, you have time to reflect on several stages of life. You've known people in their youth, uh, teenagers, uh, early, you know, like, like very early 20s, and now you know them now in their 50s. You know their whole path, especially if you talk to them like I talk to people, especially if people open up to you like people open up to me and talk to me because remember, 
I'm more curious than emotionally tied. So they talk to me, they talk openly to me. I've heard their stories, I've seen their results. And I'm telling you based on what I know to be 100% truthful, you have a better chance investing your time and energy elsewhere. A better chance. Nothing is guaranteed, but you will have a better chance. Now you got my truth and I'm not gonna cut it off no more. I'm going straight, raw, no chase, no, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't playing no more. Because y'all just, y'all brought this out of me. So since you want to flag videos, I'm going to fix it so you can't flag it. But I'm going to say the rawest stuff in the most peaceful language I can do. I'm about to be, I'm about to be me times a hundred without a single curse word. Now you've really messed up. And please support the channel. Share the videos, like the videos, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell icon. Till next time I'm out of here, I'm Brother Kush, aka the Black Alpha. Salam.